Hey guys, so if you read the title, I did quit my full-time job and I'm going full-time focusing more on YouTube. And when I did this, I only had about two and a half thousand subscribers, which is about what I have now. And I had only been making money on YouTube for about six to nine months at all. And so in this video, I'm going to talk about how and why I did it that way and why I chose to do it that way. And if you're in a similar situation, I'm gonna give some of my thoughts on that. So briefly, the job I quit. And first of all, if you're new here, welcome. I do photography and video focused videos, gear reviews, content creation tips. If that sounds like something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button. And while you're down there, make sure to hit the like button on this video. If you have been following this channel for a really long time, you might know that I am an educator and I've actually been teaching full time at LSU in Baton Rouge for the past six years. And I actually really love teaching. I really enjoy languages and I love being in the classroom and specific to that job. Every year since I've been working there up until 2020 and everything that happened that past year, I was getting paid to travel to Europe every summer for work. All right, so why did I quit? And I didn't really hate my job. Again, I love teaching. And actually in my last semester, I just got promoted. And just with any job, of course, there are aspects that I didn't like. I was never a fan of like red tape and especially the administrative side, everything that goes along with being at a big public university. But again, that's with every job you're going to have things and difficulties that you don't like. But one big reason was that it's actually pretty hard to live off of and be dependent on an education salary, especially in that particular region of the world. And the past four years, my wife has been in vet school. So we were only on one income for the household. And that's not a lot of income for two people to live off of. And then on top of that, working in education actually requires a lot of time outside of the classroom. So grading takes a long time, answering student and colleague emails, department committees. It feels like for some reason or another, I'm constantly filling out forms. And that then limits the amount of time that I can devote to creating side income. So again, this past year, my YouTube channel has started making a little bit of money and my photography and video business has been growing over the last few years. And specifically in this last semester that I was at my job, I got one specific recurring client contract that was going to again be a recurring thing that gave me a little bit of confidence and between youtube and what my photography and video business was bringing in it wasn't a ton of income but i kind of got to an impasse where in order to grow youtube and my business i needed to devote more time to that but i didn't have the time to devote to that because of being at my full-time job so now I'm going to talk about how I did it. And this is specific to me in my situation. Please keep in mind, I am not a financial consultant. I'm not even an expert with finances. I don't claim to be able to give you any kind of advice in that area. What I will say is that when you're starting a business, going full time with your own business and leaving your full time job, most people say that you should have at least three years of being able to pay all of your expenses ready to go before you leave your job. And the way I did that was pretty untraditional because my wife just graduated vet school and now she's working. So her income is what would be able to sustain us. So even if all of my income from all of these avenues completely stops, we'll still be able to survive because we have her income coming in now. And obviously that's probably not going to work for most people. I am fortunate to be in that situation. The most important thing I would suggest though, is make sure that you are very realistic about the funds that you need and make sure that you are very sure that you have and will have those funds if you need them. So like I said, now I am full time with YouTube and my photo video business. And as far as income, what's coming from YouTube is not very much at all. I do supplement that a little bit with affiliate marketing, but that's also not very much at all. And both of those things can change 
pretty heftily from month to month and depending on what season and time of the year it is, how the channel is doing at that time. But now I have the time and opportunity to be dedicated to focusing on consistent uploads here on YouTube and also on growing my photo and video business. And we'll have to see how that goes over the next year, which is my goal for reevaluating the situation, seeing if this is actually viable or going to be viable. And hopefully it goes well. If not, a year from now, I might be showing you guys a video of why I quit YouTube and went back to my full-time job. So along with all of that change, we also just made a pretty big move. We moved over a thousand miles away, which if you're not in the US for the rest of the world, that's like just over 1600 kilometers, I think, something like that. And I'll talk about that more in some upcoming videos. I have a lot of upcoming videos, things that I'm working on right now, some gear reviews, some new stuff, as well as some old gear that you might actually be interested in picking up based on that price now and depending on what your needs are. Also some photo and video technique videos might be in the works. If that seems like something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell me in the comments, are you in a similar situation? Are you thinking about going full-time with YouTube? Is that a goal for you? What do you think? Have you already done something like this before? Let me know in the comments below. Give me any tips or feedback that you might have. Hopefully you guys are here and interested in going along this YouTube ride with me. Thanks for watching the video. See ya.